Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you three things. Number one, basics and definitions of second method, algebraic equation, transcendental equation and root. And number two, how to find out the root of a transcendental equation by second method. And number three, how to find out the root without doing the calculation directly on this calculator. Isn't it cool? So let's start. So our question is find the root of 5x minus cos x minus 1 equals to 0 given x0 equals to 0.25 and x1 equals to 0.35. So for some basics, the definition of second method. Second method is a numerical technique used to find root of algebraic and transcendental equations. Number 2. Algebraic equations. Equations having quadratic or cubic polynomials are called the algebraic equation. For example, x square plus 2x minus 2 equals to 0 is an example of quadratic polynomial having power as 2. And next is x cube minus 5x plus 1 equals to 0 is an example of cubic polynomial having power as 3. I solved this question in my previous video by second method. Next is transcendental equations. Equations having sine, cos, tan, e to the power x, x to the power e, log, etc. are called transcendental equations. For example, 5x minus cos x minus 1 equals to 0 and x to the power e minus 2x plus 7 equals to 0. Next is root. The value substituted for the unknown quantity, usually the x, satisfies the equation. I will explain what is the meaning of root at the end of this video. So let's proceed to our solution. Let f of x equals to 5x minus cos x minus 1 given in the question. So if we substitute 0.25 in place of x in this expression, we will get minus 0.74. And if we substitute 0.4 in place of x in this expression, you will get plus 0.000024. So since f of x changes sign between 0.25 and 0.4, one root lies between 0.25 and 0.4. One root. There may be more than one root in some expressions, which I will explain in my upcoming video. So the values 0.25 and 0.4 are called the range of the root. How did I get this value? I will tell you. For that you have to program your calculator. So enter 5 for x press alpha and this button so 5x minus cos x plus 1 minus cos x minus 1 remember to put a right bracket after cos or you may get some error and press this calc button so if we enter 0.25 as x and press equals to so you will get minus 0.74. Similarly, if we enter 0.4 as x, you will get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.24. So, f of x equals to 5x minus cos x minus 1 and x0 equals to 0.25 and x1 equals to 0.35. So, by the general formula of second method, we can find out x2 equals to x1 minus f of x1 into x1 minus x0 divided by f of x1 minus f of x0. So x1 equals to 0.35 minus f of x1 equals to just enter 0.35 as x. So f of x1 will become minus 0.2499 and x1 minus x0 divided by f of x1 this value minus f of x0 enter 0.25 as x you will get f of x0 that is minus 0.7499 so that will give you 0.3999 how to do this calculation on this calculator I will tell you enter the expression minus minus 0.2499 into press this button for a fraction 
0.35 minus 0.25 divided by minus 0.2499 minus minus 0.7499 and press equals to so that will give you 0.39998 similarly for x3 it will be x2 minus f of x2 into x2 minus x1 divided by f of x2 minus f of x1 for each iteration we will use the previous iterations values for x3 we will use x2 and x1 values and so on so that will become x2 is 0 0.3999 minus f of x2 is Point zero 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 four seven into x two is point three triple nine, x one is point three five, f of x two is this value, and f of x one we got earlier that is minus point two four nine nine. So that will give you point three triple nine. So since in two successive iterations we get exactly same value, we can stop the iteration. You can stop the iteration if you get almost equals to value also. So our required root is 0 0.399. You can also round it up if needed. And now I will tell you how to find out the root directly using the calculator. So for that, first clear the memory using shift and 9 and enter 3 to clear all. Next enter the expression. 5x minus cos x minus 1. Don't forget to give a right parenthesis after cos and enter alpha and calc to get the equals to sign and enter 0. And now press shift and calc. And for x value, enter either the lower value of the range or the upper value of the range. So our lower value was 0.25. We will enter that and press equals to. So it will calculate the x for you that is 0 0.3999. Isn't it cool? The definition of root is the value substituted for the unknown quantity here x satisfies the equation is called the root. That means if we substitute our answer that is press answer and equals to this value in place of x you will get equals to or almost equals to 0. So let's try it. 5 into answer minus cos into answer minus 1 and press equals to. That is equals to 0. That is the meaning of root. We substituted our obtained value or our root value in place of x and we got exactly equals to 0. So friends this was my video on how to find out root of a transcendental equation by second method. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to like the video using the like button below and please subscribe to my youtube channel. By subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. Just whenever I upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe. And please share this video among your friends and family because sharing is caring. You can watch my other videos on how to find out root using regular falsi method, Newton Nelson method, bisection method and many other videos. I have more than 27 plus videos on numerical methods. You can get all those videos on www.youtube.com front slash sujayam70 and many other topics such as operation research, statistics and probability, business mathematics etc. on my channel. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And till then, stay connected by subscribing.